former Patroons head coach George Carl was back in Albany tonight. The sixth winningest coach in NBA history being honored by coaches versus cancer. Carl is a two-time cancer survivor who is cancer-free. Now 62, he says he feels better than he has in years. Tonight's fundraiser, hosted jointly by UAlbany's Will Brown, Sienna's Jimmy Patsos, and their wives. Local coaching legend Don Bassett, who worked under Carl with the Patroons, was also honored tonight. Despite being the NBA's reigning coach of the year, Carl is currently unemployed. He was fired by the Nuggets in June, even though he has more coaching victories in the NBA than people like Red Auerbach and Greg Popovich. But it's his stats from the 1990-91 CBA season that will be forever unmatched. Under Carl that year, the Patroons went 50-6, and including a perfect 28-0 home record at the Nick. Two different stints as coach of the Patroons during their heyday, including the 88-89 season at the Washington Avenue Armory, keep the Capital Region very near to Carl's heart. It was just a, a great place to play. Albany has a lot of good basketball fans, a lot of good basketball energy, and it was fun to be a part of it. The kind of record that George Carl had that one year, 50 and 6. Um, we sent those, all those coaches to the NBA as well as many players, and it was a tremendous product that we had. For us to have the reigning NBA Coach of the Year, you know, here in Albany at this event, uh, you know, is awesome. I played for Jack Bruin, who passed away. He was the coach of Colgate, and we've all had it in our lives, and then for all the basketball coaches to step up and make it kind of a, an important issue to go along with a great game, I think is really good.